Good morning. Ah, I love that chill in the morning in Colorado. Feels great. I haven't felt this chill in so long. There's no humidity out here, so it's I mean it's, it gets hot, but it's not like humid. So like when it's 95 out here, it feels like 80 back home. But uh we're getting ready to head down south today. We're heading down to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. It's still in Colorado. And then after that, we're crossing over the next day into New Mexico on to Albuquerque. But uh, yeah, just getting the morning started. Feels great out here. I'm gonna have my sunflower seeds on deck because somebody asked about that. So yes, I eat sunflower seeds whenever I'm driving. It helps me stay awake and alert. And uh, occasionally a Red Bull. You know, I stopped drinking alcohol like a year ago. So when I go out to a bar or something with friends, I'll get a Red Bull just to kind of blend in. I used to hate the taste of Red Bull. But now I kind of I kind of like it. So yeah, I'll drink my Red Bull, eat some seeds, hit this road, and we'll check in with y'all in a little bit. Another thing that you'll need out here in Colorado is chapstick. And I learned this because it's so dry. When I first started coming out here a few years ago, my lips would always be cracked up. So now, this got me wearing chapstick year round. And I never used to wear it before. Just keep that in mind if you come out here. Super dry, no humidity. I love the weather out here, but you gotta get used to it because of the elevation and such. because the speed limit is 65 and I'm doing 25. So we're going extra slow. Sunshine RV Park in Alamosa, Colorado. This RV park just opened in March, so it's brand new, really nice, good spaces. Keep it tidy, baby, keep it tidy.
like walking on a never-ending beach. Soft sand. It's so close, yet so far away. We're trying to get there, and we've been walking forever. Oh, man. That's Sand Mountain. Sand Mountain. Yeah. Sand Mountain. All right. And over there. Over there, too, huh? We're walking to it. Hike. Huh. Sand dunes that way and then beautiful mountains that way. I'm being blinded by the sun. Just told the fam I ain't come all this way not to at least go on one of them ridges over there. So this ridge right here is where I'm headed to. Barefoot and all. But I gotta do it, man. I never might never come back here again in my life. And I'll feel like, dang, why didn't I do it? So I'm gonna do it. joke soft sand uphill my goodness now I know now I know how they feel in the movies when they're in the desert and they ain't got no water and they're out of breath they feel just like this but I made it up here this is the point I wanted to come to and I made it yeah Woo. What's 
And you guys see the vastness of this? This is just miles and miles of nothingness. And then bam, sand dunes, mountains, crazy. This one's actually kind of cool because not only does it show the great sand dunes in like a three dimension, it also has facts about it on the back. All right, Eli, where should we put it? Right here? Yeah. All right, we're going to put it right there. <laughs> this Rio Grande Scenic Railroad train is actually parked right outside of our RV park. So we're gonna try to get some video of it tomorrow, okay? So we just came and got showers after a long day of being at the uh, sand dunes and Eli just pointed out how nice this house was. So this is just the RV house where you get a shower and use the bathroom. But um, it's really, really nice. And surprisingly, Eli took notice of that. So that was cool. Anyway, we're out of here. Tomorrow we're heading to Santa Fe. So we'll check in with y'all tomorrow. We're heading to Meow Wolf in Santa Fe. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. Later.